Hey bros, you want a skateboard? You want to play a skateboard and video game on a real board? Huh? No, screw that thing! We're talking about a real man's board. We're talking about the Thrustmaster. Yes, it's actually called the Thrustmaster. Now, when I first saw this thing, I was at a Goodwill, and I was near the fitness equipment. I saw, like, the ab rollers, you know, all the equipment that people buy, they keep it for two weeks, and then they end up giving it to Goodwill, because they don't use it, and they don't stick with it. And I thought this was just some weird fitness item. It's, I saw Thrustmaster, so I went in for a close look. I was like, Thrustmaster? What a dumb name for a piece of fitness equipment. And then I saw what looked like a PlayStation controller port. Now, Thrustmaster is not a terrible company. I'm not saying that. I guess that is the name of the company. They make a lot of different motion control things. They make really good steering wheels and things like that, from what I understand. But there's not a lot of information about this thing online, so that's why I decided to talk about it. Now, the way the Thrustmaster works is you hold this sort of teardrop-shaped controller, and that has start, select, your major buttons on it, as well as the shoulder buttons, R1, R2, L2, and L1, on the back, so that you can control different movements in different games, like in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, to spin. You don't really need these to do that. And of course you have ollieing and kick flips and grinds on the rails. That's how you use this controller. But what you really want to know about is how this stupid thing works. You can see on top it has two buttons that you can press with your feet, and those two buttons act as the up and down buttons on the D-pad. Now when you step on this thing, you can rock it forward and backward. And when you rock forward and backward, these little plugs in here push down and activate. And they activate the left and the right controls on the D-pad. And that is really all this thing is. The Thrustmaster is a glorified D-pad. So how well does this baby work? Well, let's test out some games on it. Oh man, this is gonna be terrible. It's time to hop aboard the board, and the first game to test, a classic. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4 for the PlayStation 2. Not my favorite in the series, but I figured this one would be a good one to test out. So there's my character, wearing a similarly blue shirt. How creepy. I think I should start off with some practice. So let's go to the practice stage. A little skate park. Alright. Whoa! Okay, so it's pretty... It's pretty sensitive. Let me just get used to the motions of this ocean. Pretty simple. So, oh, 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 stay out of the way. Okay. So to turn right, oh, okay. To turn right, you lean back on your heels, and to turn left, you lean forward on the balls of your feet. Simple enough. And then I can use the little mini controller to ollie and control my tricks and whatnot. So really the forward motion and back motion are just the left and right controls. Okay. Let's try it out. Oh, we got the ollie. And let's go for a trip. Oh, okay, well, melon. Yeah, I crushed that melon. It's hard to stay in a straight line when you're on the thrust master. Oh, heel flip, big points, not really. 120 points is not a lot of points. This is difficult. This is not easy. Get that control. Whoa! Now I'm starting to feel it. Okay. Now naturally, my instinct is I want to hop up on the board as if that controls my ollie, but it doesn't. Just like the old Wii Fit board. You can control your jumping movements. This cannot. Darn. Let's try and do a grind. See if I can grind or... Something. There's a grind for it, and uh, he would be dead. I could certainly do better with a controller, but I guess that's the novelty of the Thrustmaster. It's interesting that I'm actually kind of thrusting to do the controls here. Let's try to go the other way and get some points here. Okay. I also have these buttons on the Thrustmaster. Of course, I have my up and down controls. If you hold uh, back, he'll break. That's pretty nifty. That works. Nice. Let me position myself. Wipe off your bum. That's good. Let's see what happens. Try to do a, a hold, a rail hold here. Whatever you call it. 
There we go. And, oh, it didn't happen. Let's try it again. A nose blunt. And then my nose is now bloody from my nose blunt. Ah, let's try it again. Oh, nope. Gotta get angled. And get off, get off, get off. Yes! Those aren't too hard to pull off. I'll take that. Okay, so the control is very, very loose. Let's let's hold back. I will say that about the Thrustmaster. You have got to have some serious balance to be able to handle this bad boy. I am not good at skateboarding. I may have tried to skateboard once in my life. Didn't try it again. Makes sense. Can't you tell? But it feels like it's following my motion pretty one-to-one. -one. I don't feel a lot of delay. The only issue is it's very hard for tight control because it's so loose. The other problem is finding that perfect center because it feels like the pads are pressure sensitive. I feel like when I turn to the right, the pressure increases and my turn increases. When I push to the left, it does the same thing. As I push further, my turn is even wider. But putting it right in the center is difficult. I have a feeling that when we go into a regular stage, it's going to be hard to stay in a straight line. It's going to be a lot of this. A lot of wibbity wobbity wibbity wobbity The best place to get some education in Tony Hawk clearly will be at college. So off to college we go. Easy. You have to be super balanced to go straight. Even then I'm not going perfectly straight, but that's okay. Oh, secret area. Thank you, bad controls. Let's bounce all over the place. Jumping it! Okay, I landed it. That's fine. I'm really feeling it in the calves region and my lower back. Probably because I'm squatting or whatever. Exercise. Muscles. Let's go up this one. And no. Oh! Watch out! Watch out, internet. Basic movement. And grinding rails is the easiest thing to do. It's hard to position yourself for ramps. Because it's so much to keep track of. You have to keep track of your feet for controlling your movement. And you have to worry about putting in the button inputs just to do the tricks. Like grabs and rail grind doodly doos. Oh! Grind those rails. I do feel ridiculous. I have a feeling this really is just a novelty controller at this point as I'm slamming into everything. That would have knocked me off by now. Okay, Ramp. It's just you and me. It's just you and me! No! Oh! I landed one! Ah, oh, and I hit the trash can. So this is the type of game that the Thrustmaster was made for. You rock on the board and it controls your left and right movement in the game, and it also controls your spins after you go off of ramps, so on and so forth. It works, but it just makes me want to play with a controller. But let's try some more games! We've done some skate, now it's time for some snowboard with Cool Borders 3 on the PlayStation Uno. One player? Yeah. Nobody else is going to be wanting to ride on one of these. Let's just do, we'll do a single event. Rookie is probably a good choice for this board, and let's go... Let's go to Devil's Butt. Let's go to Devil's Butt. I guess we should try... Let's start with the downhill. I'll be Cliff. I'm the Charger. Let's just do the drop. Let's do Goofy Foot, because... Wait, let me see. Normal would be that way. So this... I guess I'm... Who knew? I ride Goofy Foot. I didn't know this was Goofy Foot. Maybe that's why I'm so terrible. I should be the other direction. This just felt natural. It just felt natural. Goofy Foot. Oh, there's others. Okay, I think R1. There's R1. Shoulder buttons on the back. I think those are my punches. I don't know. Okay. Can I punch? Oh, wrong direction. Punch the kid! Punch the... Oh, no! I punched the child! What a terrible snowboarder I am. Whoa, watch the rocks, game Dave. What's happening? What's happening? I got nothing. What is... Let's switch it around here. Oh, maybe. Alright. I think we got it now. Downhill. I... Everybody has far surpassed me at this point. I'm not going for tricks, really. I guess maybe I'll try a trick here. Oh! Didn't do anything. And I'll go the other way. And then we're gonna ollie. Just cause... Or power jump, whatever they call it in this game. 
Doesn't feel as responsive in this game. I couldn't even tell if it was working originally. Oh, this trees look so terrible. Sorry, PlayStation 1. Let's just... Oh, I'm in the trees now. The other guys are already there. Let's... Oh, I can't get over to the rail. It's kind of a workout because you're tense the entire race. Oh, oh I was trying to avoid that part happening. Yeah, I guess it's responsive enough. If I can get on this rail! Oh, rocks. Yeah, let's just fall down the rocks. Yeah, that's backwards there, mister. Well, there's the ending. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Pulled off a 180 at the end. He's not too happy about it. We've done skate, we've done snow, and now it's time for surf riders. That's right, surfboarding on the Thrustmaster. I'm gonna be honest with you, I have never played this surf riders game. It's in my collection, I just haven't gotten around to playing it. I apologize. So this is all new to me. I, all I know is that you hit R1 to paddle, I think, and then you gotta you surf, I'm assuming like this, right here. That's how you're gonna surf. So we got a couple options like see, uh, we got free surf down there. <laughs> what? It's a, it's a Wayne's World guitar riff, every every sound effect. Oh, it changes. Choose a surfer. I'll be. <laughs> sound. Oh my! I'll be that guy. You know what I like to do? I like to surf, but I also like to... What? How is he 19? He's 19. That guy is 19. Fender Gibson. We're going to Manly Beach, Australia. What is with these games and their terrible names? Uh, okay. I guess I have to... Okay, okay. I have to paddle. And then I take off, and I immediately wiped out. I guess I didn't paddle fast enough. Okay, how many how many tries do I get to go through these waves? I'm ready. Okay, and I'm on the board. I'm on, I'm on, I'm off the screen. I'm off the screen. I guess I have to paddle much, much quicker. Okay, paddle, paddle, paddle. I'm up. Oh, I went the wrong way. I can't really tell because of the perspective which way I'm supposed to be surfing. Okay. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh, there it is! Oh, gosh! Stay out of the way! Oh, wipe out! Wipe out! Point three points, though. Watch out. This is about as difficult as actual surfing. This is the difficulty level I would expect of actual surfing. It's just, I gotta get one good run. One good run! Purling? What are the? I don't know these terms. Is that a nautical term or a surf term? Okay, I gotta go for. I gotta go this way. This. I have to use the thrust master in this direction. This direction. One more try, and then I'm done with the surfing career that was just beloved by all. Here we go. Okay, take off, take off, take off, take off, take off, take off. Holy moly! Oh, at least I turned the other way. So. The board is not quite responsive enough to play Surf Riders on the PlayStation 1. Surprise. Surprise, surprise. Now, some of you out there may not think I'm the most logical person on the planet, and I can't blame you for that. But with my logical brain, this controls motion. So I have the perfect game to finish out this test and review of the Thrustmaster. Oh, that's right. Gran Turismo 4, the real driving simulator. We're gonna drive us a car with a skateboard. Let's do it. Oh, gotta change my angle. Here we go. Oh, too, too strong. Too, no, oh. Okay, almost just ate it there. Almost just ate, like we're going reverse a little bit. A little reverse, okay. Let's go this way, and then we'll go this way, 
And then we'll go this way. And then we'll go straight. Easy! No! Straight! Okay. Okay. First turn. In the Lotus. On the skateboard! No! Oh! oh. Alright, everything's good. We're good. Let's, uh... Let's keep that going. Let's turn ourselves around. Oh, come on. Alright. 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 Other way. Other way. Oh, this way. This way. This way. Just gotta get around the corner here. No big deal. No big deal. No big deal. Out of the dirt. Out of the dirt, Lotus. Oh. Uh. Okay. Let's go straight. Let's go straight. No. We'll turn out. Here we go. Just gotta finish one lap. One lap. Back, 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 back. Other way, other way. Uh, back, back, back. Wobbly course here. Should have been an oh 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 back 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 oh. Gran Turismo Four on the Thrustmaster. They said it couldn't be done, and they were right. Oh, now that was a workout. Let's see what my Wii Fit meter says. I burned 101 calories with the Thrustmaster. I'll, I'll take it. Thanks, Wii Fit Meter. So what is there to be said about the Thrustmaster? Hmm. It's not exactly the lowest profile accessory that you're going to have in your game collection. The motion control, if you really want to call it that, it works with the board in the way that it's supposed to, but that doesn't mean it works well. It is way easier to just use a controller. There is no substitute for a traditional controller for your video games. This is a novelty item, and at the price that it came out with, at $70, I would never have bought this. The only reason I bought this thing is because I randomly saw it at a Goodwill, and it was $5, and it happened to work. Weird. So this somewhat obscure PlayStation 1 and 2 skateboard controller works, and it'll give you a little bit of novelty action, a little bit of laughs, a little bit of gags. It'll also make you sweat. But this is not something you would want to buy and add to your collection for game playing. You might want it just because it's weird and obscure. But it's so difficult to control your left and right movement, your up and down movement, and also control any tricks or any other inputs while holding this stupid thing. If you were able to assign like your ollie to one of these buttons or a certain trick button to one of these, that would be awesome, the ability to assign those controls. But then it wouldn't have the compatibility that it has with every game. So I guess there's some sacrifice there. So, the Thrustmaster. Just because it's compatible with every game doesn't mean you're going to want to play it with every game. This is not made for like a, a fighting game. It would definitely be a Game Dave challenge to win at a fighting game with the Thrustmaster. And that, <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. Well, see you later. Thrust on. I guess. Something. Thrustmaster. Thrustmaster. <laughs>